things as sort of a guide to just kind of inform how I'm doing it. I think she's, I think she's amazing, great restaurant. Um, we're fortunate to have so many, but definitely a great place. And also Charlie Pierre at, at Retai. I've not been there. Colleen Quarles and Liz Hollinger at Bollish Rise and Shine and Michael Stoltzfus at Coquette. Uh, just a, an impressive list. And I mean, it, this is an example of the byproduct of, of all that's happening, uh, you know, in and around tourism. Yeah, well, I mean, these are great, um, great chefs with incredible restaurants that are informed by all of the other great chefs and great restaurants around them. And it's sort of that same old story about our, our city that we're so proud of, and that is that there's just creativity everywhere. And that creativity leads to innovation. And so we're seeing it with these new and emerging restaurants. And now to see them recognized nationally in such a prestigious way is just, you know, a confirmation of how great the restaurant scene and the, and the culinary scene is here. Um, in fact, I mean, we were just recognized recently by TripAdvisor Traveler's Choice as best of the best culinary destinations in America. And um, I think we're a ninth in the, in the world. Um, you know, just a, a great recognition that, that there's amazing things happening here on the on the food front, and that's always something to, to, to celebrate. Absolutely. Uh, also, uh, in the awards category, the Grammy Awards, we knocked it out of the park again. Yeah, P.J. Borden, Tank in the Bang is Will Wayne, uh, Dr. John, to name a few. I mean, there's just so many New Orleans and, and also Louisiana uh, nominees, and I'm certain winners in that list. Um, I want to say that we broke some records last year with victories, and, and it's possible we could do the same again this year. So, you know, again, it's just like the uh, we we all recognize the cultural richness of, of our community. We celebrate it really all of the time. And um, when you couple that with the ability to host and deliver on complex events and meetings and conferences and conventions, it makes it a great destination for almost anything uh, to happen. And, you know, continuing to tell that story is critical um, because, uh, as you referenced, it, it strengthens our city, uh, it attracts revenue to our city and to our state, uh, and ultimately, um, with the hope of continuing to attract uh, other types of businesses as well and being the sort of welcoming that to uh, business attraction and retention and uh, and all the things that go along with that. Also, we got to mention in a far magazine, one of the 10 best places in the world to travel in April, and that was predominantly because of Jazz Fest. They just recently announced their lineup. Looks like another great year for uh, the Jazz and Heritage Festival. Yes, I mean, they're obviously very exciting. Again, last year was kind of coming out of things, and this year is more, uh, is expected to be bigger and better, and, and the lineup looks great, obviously very attractive. And the recognition in Afar is, is, is wonderful because of the reach that it has. You know, I mean, we were listed alongside destinations like Rome, Spain, Iceland, uh, French Polynesia, Jordan. Um, you know, we were one of only two U.S. cities uh, recognized in that way, and it's just always nice to be uh, called out for excellence and recognized for it. And those are the kind of things that help people make decisions about where they want to spend their money and what, what communities they want to visit. And to us and our public relations team and uh, all the work we do to host journalists and bring people in to experience our great city. Washington Post travel editor and ultimately pitching them 
everyone coming down to our city and, and writing some stories about us. So I expect to see that happen in coming months. And, uh, you know, it takes sitting with those folks and, and, and pitching them on various stories and, and convincing them that it's worth a visit down to uh, the experience all we have to offer and then to write something about it. Because that really goes a lot further than me or anyone else saying that New Orleans is a great place to visit. You know, when you get that third party verification, that's what really matters. And so uh, we'll keep doing that work and, and bringing people down to see it. And a lot of, a lot of folks forget about some of the big events that we have that are actually free. We have a, a whole host of smaller to medium-sized events that are free. And Rex Porter Fest is emblematic of the fact that you can see a ton of talent and never reach the pocket. Yeah, French Porter Fest is a real, a really incredible uh, and continuing to emerge as a major player on the festival scene here. And, um, you know, very, very different than Jack Fest, but
don't need to go to those other guys' websites anymore. Check out www.